Hey YouTube, this is your girl, A Beautiful Day MUA, and today I'm going to come to talk to you about getting fit for the spring. Um, a lot of people have started weight loss um, programs in January to get fit for the rest of the year, and um, that's great. But my approach to weight loss and to fitness is just a little bit different. I really believe in this case, in that case of weight loss, that the hair does not necessarily win the race, that the turtle definitely wins the race. Um, taking off weight slowly and systematically over a long period of time always is better. Um, I have very quickly lost 40 pounds and very quickly regained 40 pounds. Whereas I have very slowly lost 38 pounds and maintained that weight loss without any effort. So today I'm going to give you some tips on what I found that really, really works in the way of dropping and shedding pounds um, for the long haul so that they don't creep back up on you. One tip that I have found is not continuing to wear clothes that no longer fit you. When I um, keep my bigger jeans, I notice that I will pick the weight right back up because there's room for me to grow in those jeans. So as I come down a size, I actually put those clothes away somewhere, tuck them away, so that if one day I go to put on my jeans and they do not fit, I instantly know that there is a problem and I need to go ahead and shed that five to seven pounds. So keeping your, your larger clothes around is not always a good idea, especially when they're easily obtainable. Pack them away in a box, label them by the size so that if you have to go back to that box, you remember what size you were and um, you want to get back to that size. Another tip that I've found is pre-planning my meals. If I pre-plan at least three or four days worth of meals on a Sunday, so I'll start my planning on Saturday and I'll make, say, um, I'll grow shrimp. So I know that uh, Sunday I can have that grilled shrimp with a salad. The Monday I can have the remaining grilled shrimp with um, broccoli or another type of non-starchy vegetable so that you can kind of stretch your meals out and see what you're going to be eating for three or four days. It makes it a lot less easy to cheat if you already know what you're going to eat. Most of the time we cheat because it's convenient and if you already have your food there that you need to eat that's healthy for you and you make it convenient you're less likely to cheat. Step uh, uh, tip three that I found really really is helpful is taking a day off. I'm off all day on Saturday. I do not exercise. I do not um, really monitor what I eat. I kind of just um, wake up and eat what I want. It's the one day of the week where me and my husband actually gets to have three meals together, which we never get to do. So on Saturdays, I really, really love to um, indulge myself. I mean, I don't overdo it. I still don't drink sodas. I try to just drink water and um, all natural fruit juice. Um, I still eat my lemons. I just found that they help to um, they cut a craving for sugar in my mouth, so I'll just go ahead and um, eat my lemons or drink them. You know, squeeze some of the juice into my water and drink them along with that. But, yeah, Saturdays, I kind of eat what I want. Like an average Saturday would be um, a waffle and scrambled eggs um, in the breakfast Air, you know, time of morning. And then in the afternoon, I would have like... I don't know, like a corn dog or something like that and french fries that I really, really like at the movies. And then in the evening time, when it's really, really dinner, I'll, I'll try to just do, I don't do red meat, but I'll do uh, chicken and or shrimp and a vegetable and then we split a dessert so that we both get the treat without me packing on all the pounds of eating it all by myself. So, um, those are my three main tips. The last two have to do with fitness and watching your fitness level um, and your activity level. Four, um, the tip four is really doing more walking. And so what I found is that I do more walking when I wear um, lower heels. And that's just the reality. When I'm wearing my four, my six inch heels, I love my Christians. I love my Jimmy Choo's, but the heels are a little too high to get really any practical exercise. During the day, I find myself just walking back and forth from the um, copier machine at work to my desk or um, 
from my office to the VP's office. I really don't do a tremendous amount of walking during the day. But when I wear my flat shoes, I can walk. I can walk outside, um, you know, to go get a bottle of water or something to, to get some exercise. Um, and just walking to and from various places. Park a little further away and walk to whatever building you're going to. Walk up the steps instead of taking the elevator. Things like that. I'm, I'm not like a, a workout you know buff I'm not just gonna be in the gym sweating for four hours but I have noticed it just increasing your activity a little bit does help now for those of you all who have difficulty exercising like myself um, staying motivated is just really really hard getting a personal trainer definitely does the trick um, it is something that you have to kind of budget if you're not you know used to that kind of expense in your life but it is very beneficial the person motivates you um, you can pick who you want so normally I pick hard eye candy I mean he's like whoo so it really helps me <laughs> really helps me to pay attention and, and really work out motivates me they uh, monitor your um, not only your pound losses but how much muscle gain you're gaining and if you're not gaining muscle um, where you're retaining water things of that nature um, it's really really great now if all of that fails I'm going to just tell you to really try maybe a program that's designed by your doctor a nutritionist or some of the other programs that are out my brother-in-law did Jenny Craig he had tremendous success my husband did Weight Watchers he had tremendous success so for some people that is what they need in order to succeed so just look at all of those areas get yourself as fit and healthy as possible not just for the spring and summer so that you can wear your you know your, your cutesy clothes but just so that you're a better human being all over so take the weight loss slow so that it will be easy to maintain um, and stay off it's very hard to maintain quick weight loss and I've learned that so now I'm just taking the slow road and really enjoying each and every day for what it is instead of just rushing through the weight loss like oh I'm so happy when this 30 or 60 days is up so there you go YouTube I hope you found all of this very very helpful I'll be back with more videos to talk to you very soon this is for all my BBWs my kings and my men Mwah. smooches YouTube